Wiggy time on the fly. What's up, everybody? Sean Wiggins here along with myself, Ref Hansen, because there's nobody in the booth with me. Here we are, Seaside Heights. Doug rules. Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Um, I'm going to say June 2002. This is Jersey All Pro Wrestling from Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Uh, if you see a couple other videos on my channel, I have a couple other matches from this venue. Uh, this was awesome. Uh, this was my favorite show. These are my favorite shows to do. Johnny D, uh, his real name's Pierre. He had a connection here on this pier. I think this is Maury's Pier, Seaside Heights. Is it Maury's? I have no idea. Probably butchering the name. Anyway, we had four shows there in the summer of 2002, and I was hoping to continue it. 2003 and beyond, this was the only year we ever did it. There is Matt Stryka. Back then he was Matt Stryka. Yeah, Matt Stryka. He was a Stryka. Rubbing my not-yet-bald head. Um... This is pre-WWE Matt Stryker. This is 2002, so uh, he's still on the Indies. And back then, he was driving around the SAT, and I was driving around the Hit Squad. We were the white drivers. <laughs> we were the marks driving everybody around. And here's his po opponent, Xavier. And Xavier was white hot at this time. He was doing WWF at the time, dark matches. Oh, no, it was WWE then. They got they, they got the F out. And they were WWE. He was doing dark matches. Um... He had a body for days. He always had a body for days. He just, again, thought wrestling was a shoot. Um, <clears throat> which is funny, he did MMA later. Um, Xavier, who passed away in 2020. Um, what I heard is he killed himself. I hope that's not the case. Oh, uh, ring announcer, Mr. Matthews, is going to do the in the NWA style um, in-ring in introduction. So I have time to talk about some things. There he is, Stry Oh, he was using Striker here. I thought it was just Matt Striker. Modtron Productions, Modtron Video. They probably lost this uh, show. So this is probably the only place you're ever going to see it. He's wrestling Xavier. And there I am, Ref Hansen. Whatever you do, don't announce me. Um, uh, they, J JPW did the NWA entrances here and there. The on and off, they would do them. They wouldn't do them. I like them. It's not necessary in every match. I would only do it for title matches. That would be me. This is my opinion. Only do it for title matches. Make them feel a little more special. So if there's any federation out there just starting up and you steal that idea, F you, kiss my ass, and give me the credit. Striker taking a smack to the face by Xavier. See, the only bad part here is, and Matram's great. Uh, any of you indie guys looking to make a, a demo of yourself, contact Matram video. Uh, the greatest, most underrated. They need to get into the television industry. I'm going to chase them down and get them in um, with my... Awful connections. They need to be doing some. They need to be doing editing on a higher level. There's nowhere to put the hard camera. See, the hard camera is way above the ring, and, and you see, there's the handheld. I mean, you can't really get a good shot because we they would do the shows. I think it was like six o'clock start time, maybe even seven o'clock, because you couldn't really do them earlier. I mean, unless you did them during the day. But when it was nighttime here, it was the shits because you couldn't see anything. But it was so awesome to be on the pier. You know, at Seaside Heights. It was awesome. It was just a cool venue, cool event. There's another federation called NWS. Their shows were awful. They were the drizzling shits. If you'd go see one NWS show, you'd never go back. I mean, I guess you'd go to take your kids. But for the most part, they were god-awful. But they would do shows in Wildwood on the beach. I don't know how they had the, uh, got the, you know, connection to do that. But um, the shows were the shits. So... You know, I guess if you're on the beach, I think the shows were free. But it was such a cool atmosphere, you know, um, to have a show on the beach. There's great wrestling here, and I'm not even commenting on it. But, uh, you know, you can see the wrestling. I, you can't hear the backstory. You don't know the backstory if you don't. Stryker, uh, this is actually a singlet he's wearing. And I I'll say this about these two guys. I mean, these two guys, probably the best bodies of anyone I knew. Loki had an amazing body, too. But there's so many guys who just, you know, they just didn't look good. They weren't aesthetically pleasing. And both of these guys were. Stryker really dedicated himself in the gym. And Stryker forever said he would never did the gas. I believe him because his body never body type never changed. And his workout regimen was, when I would talk to him about it, um, he was so uh, educated nutritionally. And he was a shoot teacher at this time. It's funny, the WWF used it when, in his dark magic against Kurt Angle. Leg hook and a two. And I could break down every little nuance of this match. I don't have to with Stryker. He's learned the way. I would have to with Xavier if he was still here. Xavier, I miss you, you mark. You never should have did that. We all miss you. Wish you were still here. 
Xavier was my buddy in when we would work Northeast Wrestling. We would hang out at their shows, drink, party. You know, just we weren't out of control. Just go to a hotel room, hang out, just BS, tell stories. Good dude. We traveled to shows together when they were in Connecticut. Uh, I was a big fan of his. But, you know, it sucks. And in wrestling, to you young guys just getting into the wrestling industry, you're going to go to more wakes than weddings. Stryker not letting Xavier back in. Actually, maybe not so much now because, you know, all the wakes are done. All the, everyone's, I mean, there's like four of us left. But, and there you go. I hate that. I mean, there's a cheap plug for Ryder, but it sucks to see the ring truck in the shot. But if they didn't put the ring truck there, everybody could see the show for free. So there were hangups about doing shows in the pier. But, um, <clears throat> eh, weak drop kick, but he still got it executed. Well done. Sorry for the shitty VCR quality. This show does not exist on DVD. And I don't know if this show exists digitally. So I hope I'm the only one showing this. Montrom, take it, steal it, use it, remaster it, and do something with it. Um, if it doesn't exist anymore. Xavier, now, calling it, see, they give quarterbacks crap when they run out of bounds, but they give the heels crap when they run outside the ring. Actually, very shocking to see Xavier <laughs> use an old school thing because he wanted to work, 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 and he can't do that. You got to entertain the people, too. That's one thing Xavier never really did, on his own, anyway. He'd always have to have a you know, manager with him. But I mean, Ring of Honor was a good place for him, uh, and then he had his son, and then he took some time away from wrestling, Came back and just never really got back in Ring of Honor. But Ring of Honor changed so much. I like to think of the glory days as 2002 to 2005 when I was there. I mean, yeah, they had amazing shows afterwards. But <clears throat> so many guys were gone because TNA gobbled up a bunch. WWE started gobbling up, you know, Daniel Bryan and Punk and all those guys. And they even gobbled up Paul London. And Paul London, uh, I could talk for days about Paul London. God, I love that dude. And as you can see, as the sun sets here in New Jersey at this show, I'd say there's probably seven thirty, eight o'clock. You know, you're, you're losing the natural light, and it really sucked for the, you know, the camera shots that you'd get. God, I wish I wore a Fitbit when I reffed. Look at my look at my fat ass waddling. I was still fat at this time. I was losing weight though. <clears throat> this was person in my personal life. I loved the life back then, but God, I mean, I was unemployed. I remember this real well. It was June 2002. I was unemployed. It was back then when you had to, you know, read the newspapers and call up and uh, actually show up and fill out a physical application. I must have went to 25 different places. Landscaping, warehouse, all that stuff. Because I tried to find nine to five stuff I could do during the week and do stuff on the weekend, do shows on the weekends. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I was back when I was 19 and back in 2000, my uncle could have got me into PSNG or he had an opportunity to. And I said no, because I wanted to chase my wrestling dream. Do I regret it now? Sure, I regret it now. In life, you have a thousand regrets. But at the time, I was going for wrestling and I couldn't give PSNG weekends. And But, you know, I wasn't smart and I, I'll teach my son to be smarter. Look at that firing up by Stryker. God, he give oh, and Xavier goes to the eyes. No matter how big the dude is, go to the eyes. Go to the little pills and you'll get it. Is that it? No. Striker slides out the back door. We're almost at the nine-minute mark. Solid match by these two. Uh, a couple Xavier matches on my channel. Check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Striker, uh, I think there's only a second match I have of his. I had a phenomenal match, him and Eddie Guapo. So glad I found that match. Um... That was, an, that was probably Guapo's best match and Stryker's best match that I refed. I just forgot that match ever happened. And luckily for me, I got to referee so many shows. that I mean, there's gems that I forgot I did and I found. I just want to get this one on there too because two guys I like. I mean, in wrestling, for the most part, I pretty much liked everybody. There's a running bulldog. A, a bunch of guys in the industry who know me just chuckled right there. But it's true. I mean, there's guys I talk shit about, but it doesn't mean I hate them. There's only a few guys I hate. And uh, neither one of these two. God, I love you, Xavier. Wish you were still here, you jerk. Um, miss you. But any you know any of Xavier's family, friends, and hopefully they get to see this and see one of the cool matches he had back then. This was, God, this is 20 years ago. 20 effing years ago. Striker looks better now than he did then. Bastard don't age. I look uh, better now than then, too.
Okay, cool, you bleed it. Striker going for his finisher. It's not going to work. Oh, Xavier catches him with a line. So it's a really cool shot handheld there by Montron. But again, I mean, they're hampered by the lack of sunlight. Xavier now climbing to the top. What's he going to do here? I think he's going for that, that axe handle. Oh, Striker catches him. Ping right into pills. What is now Striker? He's still going for it. Striker's going to go for it. He could, he could have him right here. There's the hot dog pizza stand right there by, uh, to the far left. And I remember during the show, we didn't get paid, obviously, to the end of the show. I'm like, good Lord, I'm hungry. I'd always find something on the boardwalk after. And, of course, of all, oh, nice soup, nice super play. Um, are we going to have a two, a three? No, we're going to have a two. I was right. Um, and wh for, what an idiot I am not being single at this time. I could have scored with so many chicks. God, I mean, we all had lanyards. And I remember uh, all the girls on the boardwalk thought Montron worked for MTV. Because, you know, MTV was doing their thing down here at the shore. It was just, it was a, such a cool time. I didn't drink back then, but I'm sure there were great parties then. You know, I was, I was, missed it. I missed out on all that. But whatever, my life was what it was. And timing is everything. And enjoy your life. And enjoy the time of your life during the time of your life. Oh, see, Stryker went for it all. And now Xavier's going to catch him. What's it? Oh, good. <laughs> Stryker would never take that four years after this. Xavier finishes him off. Oh, no, he's going to go for it. And this was a sweet finish. Kudos to Xavier for, I mean, for Stryker for taking this. I think he's going for it. The 4-5-0. One of the sweetest. Frick, and Xavier was a big guy to be doing this. He wasn't exactly a lightweight wrestler. He's going to go for it, and he's going to nail it. 450 splash. Oh! And it just works out that he lands right on top of him. Excellent match, fellas. Xavier gets the one, two, three on striker. Great match. Xavier the heel, but he's getting cheered because he's a hell of an athlete. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Striker, hope you get to see it. Xavier, we miss you. Uh, great reffing, great wrestling, great promotion. Matram rules. I'm putting everybody over. Uh, Mary Kate putting you over too. Great photography. And Xavier now, it, the match is over. The match is See, I would have stepped in there, but I was so spineless at the time. I couldn't stop him. But Xavier now was super heel. He had to get himself over. There's the X. So for Sean Megas, I'm Ref Hansen. I hope you enjoyed this one. Anything you can do for me, just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Please drive safe. Get home safe. Please drive safe. Arrivederci and ciao. Signing off. Boom. Nice.